With Starfield's launch now within touching distance, anticipation surrounding it is hitting a fever pitch. And at Gamescom, Bethesda struck while the iron was hot and released several new details on the spacefaring RPG. From new gameplay footage being released to interviews with a number of outlets, new details on Starfield have emerged from a number of sources over the last couple of days. Here, as we count days down to the massive open worlds RPG launch, we're going to go over all of the new details. The Opening Bethesda Game Studios RPGs have something of a knack for delivering memorable openings, so what exactly can we expect from Starfield on that front? Well, thanks to several new hands-off previews, we know what the first 30 minutes or so of the game are going to entail, and it's seemingly going to be a packed 30 minutes. As the game kicks off, you'll find yourself on a moon called Victera in an outpost run by a mining company, Argos. As a newbie, you'll be guided through a tutorial section where you'll mine some minerals using a cutter, before moving on to the real goal of the job at hand, recovering a strange alien artifact. When you touch the artifact, though, you're instantly bombarded with a strange, space-warping vision, after which you pass out. When you come to, you're handed a tablet by fellow Argos employees, which is where you'll create your character. More details on the opening. That's not all though, because there's plenty else that happens in Starfield's opening 30 minutes after you've created your character. First up is the famous step out moment that we've all come to expect from BGS RPGs, which happens when you step out of the outpost and onto the surface of Victera. Here, you meet up with Barrett, an employee of the explorer group known as Constellation, which contracted Argos to look for the alien artifact. Barrett isn't alone though because he's been followed by Crimson Fleet pirates. What follows is a gunfight, then a conversation with Barrett who, after learning that you had a vision when you touched the artifact, recruits you as Constellation's newest member. At this point, you take off from Victera, having a dogfight in space with some more pirates. Fly to New Atlantis and head to Constellation headquarters to meet with its other members and deliver the artifact. Yep, that apparently all happens in just the first 30 minutes of the game well over 160 hours of content. Bethesda Game Studios RPGs are guaranteed to be massive time sinks, and it's not all difficult to imagine someone pouring hundreds of hours into any of them, much less dozens. Unsurprisingly, it seems Starfield is continuing that tradition. For instance, speaking recently at Gamescom, Bethesda's Pete Hines said that he'd put around 160 hours into his Starfield playthrough, and that he was still nowhere close to having seen everything in the game. Of course, we do know that the game's main story is supposed to be 30 to 40 hours long, but if it's anything like past BGS titles, the main story is probably going to end up being only a fraction of the whole experience. Activities While it remains to be seen exactly how Starfield would differentiate between its quests and convey their importance to the experience, it seems at least one of those categories will be referred to as activities which will seemingly be smaller scale quests or, well, activities as compared to something like a faction quest. According to the aforementioned Pete Hines, however, you definitely shouldn't be ignoring them regardless of how unimportant they may seem on the surface. Speaking during Gamescom, he said, My one piece of advice for folks is do not ignore your activities. It feels like throwaway stuff that the game is giving you, but there's some amazing stuff in there that doesn't even feel like a real quest, but will take you to some amazing places, some amazing stories more similar to Oblivion than Skyrim. Skyrim is the game that BGS is most commonly associated with, and it is, of course, the watermark that all of the studio's games in the year since its launch have been judged against. Starfield will end up in many such comparisons as well, but according to Xbox boss Phil Spencer, who spoke about the space RPG in a recent chat with IGN, it is, interestingly enough, actually much closer to Oblivion in terms of the sort of experience it offers rather than to Skyrim. Sadly, Spencer didn't elaborate, so it remains to be seen what exactly he's referring to, but hopefully that means that we can look forward to longer and more fleshed out faction quest lines similar to what Oblivion delivered. Why the Protagonist is Voiceless We've known for a while now that Starfield is once again going to feature a voiceless protagonist, with the game dropping the new dialogue system that was introduced in Fallout 4 and going back to the one that BGS has used in all of its other games. As revealed in a recent GQ article, it was revealed that that wasn't always the plan. As it turns out, Bethesda did initially record dialogue for the protagonist, but ended up deciding to take it out of the game because they felt it took too much away from the player freedom and the game's role-playing aspects. New Atlantis the aforementioned GQ article also provided some interesting new tidbits on the city of New Atlantis, the capital city of the United Colonies. 
Previously, it's been confirmed that it's going to be the biggest city ever in a Bethesda RPG. But what exactly can we expect to find there? Unsurprisingly, GQ describes it as BGS's densest city to date, with plenty of skyscrapers and bustling streets, and multiple districts that are both set above and beneath ground level. The upper district is where Constellation's headquarters is located, while there's also a museum in the city where you can learn about the history of the humanities over the course of 300 years leading up to the game's events. Broader Exploration Structure Exploring the massive open worlds of BGS's RPGs is always a special experience, but Starfield is apparently going to deliver a broader and much more organic style of exploration. That's according to director Todd Howard himself, who told GQ that the way players explore the settled systems in Starfield will be very different from the style of exploration in something like Skyrim. That will also come down to the level of variety that will be on offer across different locations, from the sci-fi aesthetic of New Atlantis to the bustling cyberpunk-style streets of Neon, to the many moments of quiet awe that you'll be able to find exploring Starfield's vast space setting and its many uninhabited planets. Community Support Mod support has been the lifeblood of Bethesda Game Studio titles for, well, forever, pretty much, and the studio intends to keep that going with Starfield. That's something it's said in the past, and it's something Xbox boss Phil Spencer stressed again in a recent interview with IGN. When asked about community support and the modding scene for Starfield, he said, I don't want to disclose what the team has been thinking about, but obviously, when you're BGS and you've seen the legs and the support that Skyrim gets, even today, when you look at what the modders have done, it went into thinking about what Starfield should be, and proof will be out in terms of how people receive the game, but our hopes is that it's another game that's around a decade plus longer later after it launches and people are still enjoying it. New Game Plus Something that BGS games have almost never done in the past, and absolutely never at launch, is feature a New Game Plus option. Though that's going to change with Starfield, Todd Howard has confirmed in his interview with GQ that Starfield will indeed feature a New Game Plus option right at launch. What exactly will it entail remains to be seen, but Howard did say it adds a unique and exciting twist on New Game Plus to incentivize continued and repeated playthrough. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Vault upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.